do? Okay. Woo. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do for your self-portrait is we're going to draw the shape of your face. What is the shape of your face? Circle. Oval. Egg. Oval. Egg. Oval. It's, it's, oval. Like, it's like an egg or an oval. It's actually not round. Quite often when we draw pictures of people or ourselves, we do a round face. But our faces actually aren't round. So, on your page, try to use up most, as much as your page as you can. Okay? But you can draw your upside down egg or your oval. And if you like, and you can fix it up because that side looks a bit square. And you can also go to about there and put some, or here, and put some shoulders in. So leave room for some shoulders. So it's not just your face. Okay? So have a go. I'm going to fix mine up a little bit and run it out. Not quite what I'm happy with. So that's part of drawing is that you do it and then you go, oh, no, nah, that's not quite right. So I'll fix that bit up. Okay, the first thing that we are going to draw is our eyes. Where do you think eyes are on our face? Two sides and a half. I reckon they are probably about that. Would we put them here? Yeah. No, they're underneath. On the dotted line. They're underneath. Well done. It actually is right in the middle of our face. We often think that... Our eyes are at the top of our head, but they're not because we've got this forehead here, okay? Yeah. But if you actually do that with your fingers and work out the space, it's a little bit higher to the top, but basically, oh, it's yeah. around about the middle of your face is your eyes. Not your nose, but your eyes is in the middle of your face. So, and your nose is right on the middle line. We're going to, we're going to put black text up. We're going to draw our eyes. The other interesting thing about our eyes, that there is a space between our eyes. And that space between our eyes is exactly the same size as our eyes. So if you go for the width of your eye, you should be able to fit an extra eye in the middle of your two eyes. And on a piece of paper, you could fit five eyes across. So you could have one, two, three, Four, five. So we've got to go to the second one and the fourth one to put our eyes. So we're going to have a go. Oh, I'm going to draw. At, at draw, drawing eyes that aren't round. Or the shape of the eyes. We must adjust them and change them. Oh, I'll do it. Okay. And as you get that far, you can fill it in with details. So you can put the Bridge of the nose and 
to it. Sometimes you don't even have to have it at all, okay? You can actually do a squiggle and just do the bottom part of your nose. So you can actually do something like this. You can do something as simple as just that, or you can put your nostrils in there if you wanted to. Can you put my spoon? And if you wanted to, you can put the bridge in. Probably don't need to. You can put it on both sides. Really? But okay. you just don't know where you have to look exactly like a nose. Oh, you just, you'll be surprised how easy it is to do once you start. Okay, you don't have to look exactly like a nose. It's going to look, your best shot is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to actually have mine just like that. So just have a go. Okay, so lips. Our lips are going to go halfway between our nose and our chin, I think, about halfway. So what you can do, you can have your lips closed or you can have them open. So I'm going to show you closed to start with, okay? So to start with, I'm just going to draw a line. Okay, and you can see that's where the mouth is going to go. Then I can draw my cotton. And then I can draw the bottom lip. Now that's the easiest with it with it closed. Okay. The other option is that we go for an open mouth. So very similar. You can have your line and do your top lip. And then your bottom lip's going to go much lower down and thinner. And then the fun bit. What's in your mouth that you get to draw? Teeth. Teeth. And they are fun because you do your front teeth. And they're not square. Okay, and they're not round, but they're funny shapes. <laughs> 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 and put your gums in there because you see your gums. The teeth. And you put your teeth in. The gums are in there. Ah, and you, you probably go. don't see many, if any, of your front and bottom teeth, but you can put a few in. And then you have an open post. And you can even do some lines. Mm. Did you get some smile? To hear? So you can have open mouth or a shut mouth. Now I'm going to rub that out because I am going to go for a closed mouth. So I'm going to go back with a line. Okay. Done. And I still have a straight face. Like this. And then I'm going to put some of those face lines that we have on our face. And Can we do a straight face? If you want to do a smile, you can, but it's, you can have a go, but it's not a big smiley face like this. Okay, it'd just be slightly. Can we do a straight face? Slightly raised. How do you do a straight face? I forgot about the how wide to do your mouth. If you actually look at the edge of your lips, what's above them? Eyes. Your eyes, your centre of your eyes. So your lips, and mine are a little bit out, if we had a pretend line, your lips should also fit in that space. Okay, so we miss the ears, but the ears go from your eyes, to the top of your ears are equal, even with your eyes, and the bottom of your ears are even with your nose. Okay, so now we're just going to do some finishing touches to the face. So sometimes we have lines on our face. Now I've got more lines on my face than you have, because I'm older, okay? But we put some lines around the mouth. You could put just little lines to get your cheeks to show. You can have little lines to show the bridge of your nose. You can have a little line to show you your wrinkles. I have bags on my eyes. Yeah, okay, you can add. Just those lines. Don't do too many because at your age you don't have lots of lines because you're young. But just 
a little bit if you want to, and then if you start looking a little bit too old, you can take them off. Okay, so now we're going to look at our hair. Some of us have short hair, some of us have long hair, okay? But we're actually going to draw nearly every strand of hair that you've got, okay? So I have a fringe, so I'm going to draw each strand of hair for my fringe. And then I have a part in the middle, so I'm going to go... Thank you. 